Lone Star Geyser erupts in Yellowstone as three volcanoes roar across the globe. Earth's Fiery Awakening The 13th of April, 2025 Vertical Bar Global Natural Disasters Desk Vertical Bar by Special Correspondent Yellowstone National Park, a surge from the depths. In a chilling reminder of the Earth's untamed power, the Lone Star Geyser, hidden deep within Yellowstone's vast geothermal wilderness, erupted with extraordinary violence to dispewing a high-pressure column of boiling water, superheated steam, and noxious volcanic gases hundreds of feet into the sky. It was no ordinary eruption. Located about three miles from Old Faithful, this remote geyser has long been a quiet, predictable marvel. But at precisely 7.04 a.m., park rangers were stunned as the ground shook beneath their boots. What followed was a terrifying and majestic event. A deafening roar, then a jet of steam bursting into the winter air. Followed by repeated explosions of water and ash-like sediment. Wildlife scattered. Tourists filming from afar gasped and ran for cover as the geyser defied its usual gentle behavior. Volcanologists now believe this eruption was fueled by increased hydrothermal pressure deep beneath Yellowstone's crust. This was not normal, said Dr. Helen Marlowe of the USGS Yellowstone Observatory. Lone Star's sudden surge may be the result of intense subsurface gas buildup and water being flash, heated by magma closer to the surface than previously thought. Although the Yellowstone caldera remains under a yellow alert, today's display is adding fuel to growing concerns about geothermal instability in the region. Rangers have now cordoned off several hiking trails near Lone Star Basin due to the risk of further eruptions or ground collapse. But the fear doesn't stop here. A volcanic domino effect? While Yellowstone shudders in the American West, three of the world's most dangerous volcanoes are stirring to life in unison, sending chills through scientific communities worldwide. Alaska Mount Spur wakes up after decades of silence. In the icy wilderness just 80 miles west of Anchorage, Mount Spur, a snow-capped stratovolcano, has burst into activity. At 5.43 a.m. local time, an enormous ash plume was detected rising over 35,000 feet into the atmosphere. Residents in Anchorage reported a strange sulfuric odor followed by fine ash dust settling on cars and rooftops. The ash cloud quickly drifted eastward, triggering red aviation warnings and grounding numerous commercial flights. The Alaska Volcano Observatory reported intense harmonic tremors, elevated gas emissions, and swelling of the volcano's southwest flank. This could be the beginning of something far more dangerous, warned Dr. Lucas Chen, lead geologist in Anchorage. Magma movement has been accelerating. If the pressure continues to build, we may see a Plinian-style eruption, the kind that alters landscapes and affects global weather patterns. Spur last erupted in 1992, disrupting air travel and blanketing parts of Alaska in thick ash. But scientists say today's activity is significantly more aggressive. Italy, the hidden monster of Campi Flagre, breathes again. Thousands of miles away in southern Italy, the ground around the ancient city of Naples is trembling once more. Campi Flagre, an enormous and mostly buried supervolcano under the Bay of Naples, is exhibiting the most intense signs of unrest seen in decades. Gas emissions have surged. The coastal town of Pozzuoli has experienced hundreds of microquakes in the last 48 hours.
A noticeable uplift of the ground more than 15 centimeters in just a month has alarmed both residents and scientists. This is not a regular volcano. Campi Flagre has the power of 100 Mount Vesuvius eruptions combined, said Professor Lorenzo Bianchi of Naples Seismic Research Institute. The last eruption here was in 1538, but the volcano has a history of explosive super eruptions. If it blows, it could devastate all of southern Italy. Schools in the surrounding areas are closed, and evacuation drills have quietly begun. Some fear that magma is creeping ever closer to the surface, it's awakening long overdue. Etna, the angry titan of Sicily, roars again. Not far from Campi Flagre, the mighty Mount Etna, Europe's tallest and most active volcano, has violently erupted once again, marking its fifth major eruption in the past year. The skies above Sicily turned black with ash as torrents of lava cascaded down its southeastern slopes like rivers of fire. Lightning flashed within the ash cloud, and shockwaves from the eruption were felt as far as Catania, where windows rattled and residents fled in fear. Flights have been canceled. Emergency response teams are on high alert. Scientists on the mountain were forced to retreat from monitoring stations as lava consumed the lower paths. This eruption was faster and stronger than the last, said Dr. Silvia Romano, an Etna specialist. We're seeing a shift in the volcano's behavior deeper tremors, wider vent openings, and increasingly explosive outbursts. This isn't just Etna venting jets, Etna evolving. Is the Earth sending a warning? To witness four powerful geothermal events unfolding nearly simultaneously across the globe has sent shockwaves through the geological community. Some are calling it coincidence. Others believe it's a sign of deeper planetary unrest. There may be no direct connection between Yellowstone, Spur, Campi Flegre, and Etna, said Dr. Carla Mendoza, a global tectonic specialist. But when you see massive activity across multiple tectonic zones, it raises questions. Are we seeing a shift in Earth's internal pressure dynamics? Is the mantle in motion in ways we don't fully understand? Others are more direct. We may be entering a new era of heightened volcanism, said Dr. Harold Liang, a volcanologist at the Global Geophysical Institute. We've long believed that the Earth experiences cycles of quiet and chaos. This may be the start of a chaotic cycle. A world on edge. As Yellowstone geysers explode, Alaskan skies darken, Italy trembles, and lava consumes Sicilian slopes, one thing becomes clear.